today and I'm going to talk to you guys about the stair chair today. So this is a stair chair. Um, it's used for getting patients kind of in and out of their house, um, more when there's stairs involved because it makes it a lot easier to bring them down the stairs. Um, and you can get them around tight, tight corners as well. Um, another thing that you can use for that is the knee stretcher, but um, this is the one that we use. So just say what Okay. Okay, so um, to start off, you want to open the stretcher up. You just kind of pull it open like that. Um, make sure that the wheels are locked. So you've got these buckles on the, or these brakes on the back here. Push them down, that'll lock the thing in place. Um, then what you want to do is um, make sure that the buckles are out of the way and then get a blanket. And you want to open the blanket up and lay it out over the stair chair. Um, and then you want to kind of put the patient in the seat. So, then you want to wrap the patient up, like so. And then you want to start strapping them in. So, the straps, what you want to make sure with them is that they go over the shoulder. And that when you're um, closing them up, you want to use the you know, pull method. So, and they go across the chest like that, and you know, X feet and pull so you can pull it like that to make sure it's tight and then just like that. Um, then you want to make sure that their feet are up on this little bar here. So um, you want to just put your feet right up there. Um, and as you can see there's a little buckle right here that you can buckle their feet in so it doesn't catch when they're trying to move them. And then kind of the moving parts on this are these things move out, these are the handles. So what you're gonna have when you bring them down, I'll talk about this more later. You can have one person down here and actually one person behind them. But the person down here is gonna be carrying these handles and um, they kind of pull out like this to make it easier to get a um, leverage on it. Um, back here, if you turn the patient around here, um, this little thing, if you pull it out, and this, these little handlebar things pull up and they lock in place so you can kind of lift the patient like this. Um, and even more back here, these are the treads. If you pull this little bar up right here, kind of squeeze like that, um, these will drop down and they'll kind of catch on the stairs and that's what kind of provides a lot of the um, stuff on the weight. Uh, this bar right here is used when you're kind of putting away the stair chair and you pull it up and you kind of lift up the, uh, the seat piece and it will fold back in. Um, and as I told you before, these were the brakes. And then up here, if you take, if you take, if you pull this in, this pulls up and so you can also lift from the top here. So now the next part is we're going to bring this patient down the stairs. Yeah? No, no, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, in terms of lifting and moving the patient, you're going to have three people. Um, one's going to be spotting, one's going to be lifting down there, and one's going to be lifting up here. The person up here is going to have uh, this bar up, and their main job is to kind of put pressure, although it's kind of counterintuitive, you kind of want to put pressure down because that's what the treads are for. Um, it helps keep the treads on track. Um, and uh, if you lift it up, it could kind of like, loosen them and then the person slips down. As the person down there, you're going to be using those two handles to kind of tip the patient back and make sure that the treads actually catch. And then you're going to be kind of guiding each of the treads as it goes and to make sure that, that the treads uh, hit like the corner of the stair. Um, and then as the spotter, you're going to have the hand on the back of the person holding down below. And you're going to be kind of putting pressure on them, making sure that they don't fall back 
and as well kind of guiding them, telling them what steps are there, if there's like a turn in the stairs, things of that sort, and um, you know, like how many steps they have left to go. So, um, we'll get started here, lifting the patient. Okay, so this is kind of the final step of our youth in the stair chair. Um, this part is pretty much kind of them over to the stretcher, which is just going to take them into the ambulance. So you want to make sure that the straps are clear off this. Uh, you want to make sure that this is kind of out, like so. Um, so you can wrap it around the patient. Um, you want to make sure that the stretcher is low enough. Um, that way, the patient will be able to sit down. Um, and yeah. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring them right up alongside the, um, the stretcher. And then you're going to uh, unbuckle them. And then you're going to either help the patient um, if they can't really stand that well, or you're going to um, just have the patient themselves stand up and sit down on the stretcher. So, and uh, again, make sure that the brakes are on on here every time the patient is moving in and out of the stair chair. Um, make sure that the brakes are on on the stretcher. Um, and then you go on to packaging them on the stretcher, which is generally the same thing about wrapping them up, buckling them in, and um, just kind of making sure they're comfortable. Okay, let's put the chair away. And then in terms of uh, putting the chair away, you want to make sure to um, make sure that everything's kind of back like that. Um, you want to make sure that this is buckled. You wrap that up. Um, then you want to make sure to put these straps in here. And then what you want to do is, if back here you can see there's a little bar right here. You want to lift that bar up and then pull up on this at the same time and it'll collapse in on itself. Um, and then this entire thing goes back in the back side driver's compartment here. Um, Put it right in here, and I don't know if you can see, there's a buckle here. <laughs> to close it up, keep it in there, try to get a blanket if you can, just so you have it next time, and uh, make sure that there's no blood or anything disgusting on it. And if there is, then you might want to clean it up before you put it back in. That's how you use the stair chair. Thank you, JT.